Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 10, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so to find the area of a trapezoid, the easiest way that I can find to explain it to you is to do base one plus base two, do that first, and then multiply that by height, and then divide by two. I'm gonna show you what I mean, okay? I did a rough drawing, obviously, mine is not the scale. Also, I wanted to show you that these little boxes right here, they don't mean anything that you're going to need to worry about during this. All it means is that that's a right angle. That's all that means, okay? So don't worry about those for our lesson, okay? So base one, nine. Base two, two, okay? Times the height is seven. And then we're going to divide that by two. So now we've plugged in numbers for all of that, okay? So now nine plus two is 11 times seven divided by two, okay? 77 divided by two, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put 77 in the box and two outside, okay? Two's gonna go into seven, three times, three times two is six, subtract, get one, okay? One is smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my seven. Two goes into 17 eight times. Eight times two is 16. Subtract, get one. Now, I need to add a decimal and a zero so that I can bring down. Two goes into 10 five times. Five times two is 10. Subtract, get zero. Okay? So 38.5. Okay? We're going to do this again. Don't worry. Okay? We're going to do base one, base two, add them together. We're going to multiply that by the height, and then we're going to divide it by two. Okay? All right. Let's do number three. Okay? Obviously, again, not to scale, and then an REO sent each map. So, base one would be nine. Base two would be 15. We would multiply that by the height, which is seven, and then divide by two, okay? Nine plus 15, 24. We're gonna multiply that by seven, okay? So seven times four, 28, carry that two. Seven times two is 14, plus two more is 16. So now I have 168, and I'm gonna divide that by two, okay? Two is not gonna go into one, placeholder. Two will go into 16 eight times. Eight times two is 16. Subtract and get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than two, so I'm going to bring down my eight. And two goes into eight four times. Four times two is eight. Subtract, get zero. So 84. Okay, the centimeters is already written for you. Okay, it gets easier the more you do it, guys, I promise. Okay, you just got to remember that this is the area for a trapezoid. Okay, Okay, let's do number four, guys. Okay. So you'll notice that on number four, all I did was the ones that we have to worry about. I did not do this. I did not draw this. Okay, it doesn't matter for what we're doing. Okay. So base one is 12. Base two is 16. It doesn't matter which order you put those in. Okay. So I'm going to add those up. Okay. 2 plus 6 is 8, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 28. I'm going to multiply that 28 by 16, nope, sorry, by 10, sorry, by 10, the height is 10, which will give me 280, okay? So now I need to do 280 divided by 2, okay? Here, I will write in the numbers for you and maybe make it a little bit easier. Okay? So this will wind up being what we did here, okay? So now 280, and we're gonna divide that by two, okay? Two goes into two one time, one times two is two, subtract is zero. So zero is definitely smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my eight, two goes into eight four times, four times two is eight, subtract, get zero, okay? Now, because I have a zero here, ended in a zero, and this one's a zero, I'm just going to move it up. So 140. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do number five. Okay, I'm gonna write your numbers in. So on this one, you're it's going sideways. Obviously, I did not do that again. Okay. So it's going sideways. So we're just going to use the two sides as the base and the 100 as the height. Okay, we're just going to turn it. Okay, so 24 plus 48 times 100 divided by 2. Okay, so 24 plus 48. Okay. 4 plus 8 is 12, carry that 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So now we have 72, okay? When we multiply that by 100, we get 720. Sorry, we get 7,200. My bad, two zeros, two zeros, okay? Okay, so now we need to divide that by 2. Okay, Two is going to go into seven three times. Three times two is six. Subtract, get one. One is smaller than two, so I'm going to bring down my other two. Two goes into 12 six times. Six times two is 12. Subtract, get zero. Now I end it in a zero, and I have one two zeros left. I'm going to put them up there. Okay, so 3,600. Okay. Not so bad, guys, once you get used to it, okay? Pause it and write down your work, okay? You don't have to draw the shape like I did, but write down your numbers, okay? All right. You guys are going to do number six and seven. You totally can. I believe in you. Go ahead, okay? We are going to go down and we're going to do the bottom, the problem solving, okay? The cake is made out of two identical trapezoids. Each trapezoid has a height of 11 inches, base of 9 and 14. Okay, what is the area of one of the trapezoid pieces? Okay, so each one of them has this. So all we need to do is one. Okay, so the area equals base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. Okay, so Base 1 is 9, base 2 is 14, times the height of 11, and then we're going to divide it by 2, okay? All right, so 9 plus 14 is going to be 23, okay? Times 11 divided by 2, all right? So 23 times 11. Well, 1 times 23 is 23. We do tick, tack, and toe, and 1 times 23 is 23. So 3, 5, 2. So 253 divided by 2. So let's do it. Okay. 2 goes into 2 one time. Two, 1 times 2 is 2. So track is 0. 0 is definitely smaller than 2, so I'm going to bring down my 5. 2 goes into 5, 2 times, because 2 times 2 is 4, we get 1 left over. Okay? 1 is smaller than 2, I'm going to bring down my 3. Okay? 2 is going to go into 13, 6 times, because 6 times 2 is 12, I get 1 left over. So now I'm going to have to put a decimal and a 0, bring that decimal up, and the 0 down. 2 goes into 10, 5 times. Okay? 5 times 2 is 10, subtract, get 0, okay? So, 126.5, we're dealing with inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared, okay? All right. The sticker is in the shape of a trapezoid. The height is 3 centimeters, so hold on, let me, I'm going to write my formula again. Okay, so, okay, so inside of my parentheses, okay, well, the height, it tells us, is three centimeters, okay? The bases are 2.5 and 5.5, okay? 
All right. So now I just got to do the math. Okay. Well, I'm going to put my 5.5 up here and just add them up this way. Okay. So that's going to be a zero. Carry the one. That's going to be an eight. So eight times three divided by two. Okay. Well, eight times three is 24. And if we split 24 in half, which is dividing it by two, we get 12. So 12 centimeters, and we multiplied centimeters by centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. Okay? All right, now we're going to go into the back, where you guys are going to do the question check. Okay? And we're going to do spiral review. All right? So spiral review says, Cassandra wants to solve the equation 30 equals 2 fifths P. What operation should she perform to isolate the variable? So remember when we need to get the variable alone, we do the opposite. Well, when you have a number next to a letter with no sign in between, it means multiply. So the opposite is to divide. Okay, so she will divide both sides by two fifths. Okay, all right. Ginger makes pies and sells them for $14 each. Write an equation that represents the situation. If Y represents the money that Ginger earns and X represents the number of pies sold. Well, Y would equal 14 times however many pies she sold, 10. Okay. What is the equation for the graph shown below? Okay, so, well, it looks like, oh, right here. So, it's over 2, up 4, so that would be whatever, okay, so y is going to equal what x is times 2, because in order to get from 2 to 4, we multiplied by 2. So 2x. Done. Okay. Caesar made a rectangular banner that is 4 feet by 3 feet. He wants to make a triangular banner that has the same area as the other banner. The triangular banner will have a base of 4 feet. Well, so the rectangular one is going to have 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay. So the triangular one, he wants the area to equal 12, okay? So it's going to be 4, because that's going to be the base, times the height divided by 2 equals 12, okay? That's going to be our formula, okay? So now... I'm going to combine my like terms. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 times the height. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Still have times height equals 12. Okay? So now, in order to get 8 alone, I need to do the opposite, which is divide. And that number is 2. Okay? So I'm going to divide this side by 2 because whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. Well, 12 divided by 2 is 6. And it's in B. Okay, make sure that you guys write down your work. Okay, thanks for hanging out for 10.4. Come on back for 10.5. See you soon.